Let's honor God. Let's carry God along. Let us play football as if all depend on us and pray as if all depend on God. Pray as if all depend on God. Play football as if all depend on you. It's not, it's not where to man this ball today. Even from the beginning. Let, let's forget about this discipline. Let's not forget, let's not forget about this discipline. Let's not forget about this discipline. Go, go, go. go. We, we to, the judge calls out this thing. I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing. What happened? Four what happened? Four months. What happened? Four months. He burned him. What's the problem? It's very bad. Very bad. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Very bad. We have technical too. They knew that Osaze was not informed in this game. At the end here. He was not informed. The coach would have removed him earlier. Earlier. He would have replaced him earlier. That was my annoyance. Let's, 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 let's forget about uh, the mistake. The mistake of uh, the error uh, about the unforgiveness of anything of a uh, Yaman. Let's forget, okay, let, uh, let's assume it. Let's assume it now. If a child does something to you, something bad, call him, talk to him, advise him in another one, bring him back. There's not no need. Those questions were all begging for answers. I love ball so much. That is why when it is time to play ball, I want to know what is happening. I will pray. I want to know. Mwaneri. Nigerians throwing everything at the Mozambicans and no effort there. I learned you will play ball today. Do you want me to talk about it? Do you want me to talk about it? In fact, I forgot you. Uh, we need a goal to lead the, the other people. If you can have just one goal to lead them. Uh, <laughs> we need a goal ahead of these people. Uh -huh. It's not every time they will beat us. <laughs> Why? I said, how can everybody come here and beat her? Draw, 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 draw. Ego! We smile differently today. I've forgotten the issue of ball. But this man will head a goal for us. We smile. I just said, Ego! Another cross. Another opportunity. Could have gotten a goal from the ball. It's not over yet and it's in the net. One goal for Nigeria though. In the in added time. A goal from Nigeria at other times, caught by uh, uh, Femi Ajilore. Nigeria have a goal. At long last, Nigeria have a goal. That was actually scored by Obi Nansofo. The Inter Milan man getting a goal. But this man will head a goal for us. We smile. I just said, A goal! The Super Eagles, who has not been outstanding in all the qualifiers played so far, has however rekindled hopes when they manage a scrappy 1-0 victory over the members of Mozambique to again put smiles on the faces of Nigerians. We smile differently today. My name is Ambassador John Fashionu, one of the special advisors to Mr. President on the 2010 World Cup. Thank you. Last week, we had arguably the most important game in Nigeria's history on the 2010 World Cup. Those of you who are football lovers will know it has been a difficult time in football. 
We have taken abuse. We have taken plastic bottles being thrown at the players, the advisors. This game was a special game because the man of God prophesied Nigeria, Tunisia would be a draw. One minute to go. We were leading 2-1 and we're at home in Abuja. And we conceded the most ridiculous goal I have ever seen in my 20 years of professional football. And at the end of the game, there was no point myself or any of the technical team shouting at the players because they knew that they had messed up. We now had the game in Mozambique and I called the man of God and I said, man of God, what do you think? When the man of God now called back, I think it was days later, and told me, Ambassador, Nigeria are going to win by one goal. I was delighted. <laughs> I went back and I told the players, I told the governor, I told the other special advisors. Everybody was still very worried. When we were getting in the bus, we had our green and white Nigeria shirts on. But I noticed some of the other technical advisors had little bags with plain shirts on. Because towards the end of the game, if we lose, we're out of the World Cup, we would be finished walking around with our Nigerian shirts on. So they were disbelievers. And I thought myself, I've made a mistake. Maybe I should bring a plain shirt to put it on. Because if we lose, there's going to be an awful lot of abuse. I told the governor exactly what the man of God said. And I had two governors, one commissioner sitting with me, next to me in the stand. At half time, we were 1-1. One, one. And I was still finding it difficult to understand how a team of 11 of some of the best players and the highest players, professional salary earners in Nigeria were drawing to the normal team of Mozambique. So there was a problem. I was worried. 10 minutes to the end of the game, I was pouring with sweat. We were already receiving plastic bottles because the supporters were seeing Fash, JJ, Shegun Adegbomi, all the other advisors, and we were under pressure. Seven minutes to the end of the game, the two commissioners and the governors brushed by me rudely, as if to say it's my fault. <laughs> I didn't acknowledge it. I remembered what the man of God said. And I was under pressure now because I was not going to get out. Five minutes to the end of the game. And I'm sorry to say, I'd almost given up help. My heart was beating. They were looking at me. They were looking at us. And I thought, this is it. We're finished. Number one, we're out of a job. Number two, we're out of the World Cup. And a World Cup in Africa without Nigeria is a disaster. <laughs> Three minutes to go and my phone rang and I always keep my phone in my sock. I bent down. While I was down, I said a little prayer, please. I picked up the phone and it was the man of God. <laughs> I picked the phone. I was down. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I was beaten. Three minutes to go. Job, career, everything, Nigeria, out. The man of God was on the phone. This was not a call I wanted to take because I thought he might say, sorry, ambassador, I've made a mistake. <laughs> the countdown, three minutes as the man was on the phone, the man of God was on the phone. I still cannot understand it. As I was on the phone, he was telling me, Go!
can say he was on the phone I have never experienced anything like it in my life I come from the UK where the impossible is the impossible we're now in a realm where the impossible is possible and the man of God has made it so all of the players and the staff know fully well we played terribly. Somewhere up there, thank you to the man of God, we had the hand of God who helped us. So we're through, and the question we all ask the man of God is how are we going to do against Kenya on the 14th? Thank you. Wow. Can you say the question my brother is asking me now? In the eyes of the whole world, where one thing is clear, we have not done anything to bring about that prophecy. Therefore, all boasting is excluded. its progress with great interest the only African nation still surviving at this under 20 World Cup Nigeria I say I will not go into issue of football again but I say something else. I said, no, if I say anything, it's a game, I would just, mm, it happened. I said, oh, it's all right. But I know today you want to kick something. But what are you kicking? I, I saw that slim guy, black in complexion. It's very slim. I have a cut here. We should just quickly score before these people. That is the civil grace. I say, that is the saving grace. Because what I'm seeing, first come, first what? But me, I don't want to say anything, but I say everything. I say everything. The one that just rolling like this, the boy wanted to kick, and the boy just go like that. People say, oh, Babo Luje. Musa into the game, that dangerous left winger. The more he's on the ball, the more likely Nigeria are to make the breakthrough. This is Grenier. Lacazette onside! Goal for France! His third goal of this World Cup, Alexander Lacazette. Running free of a rather statuesque Nigeria defence. The flag stayed down and Francis Mareki's side have the lead here in Cali. And Yanwu, the player who played Lacazette onside and the finish unerring into the bottom corner. Three times he's come off the substitutes bench to score in this World Cup, Lacazette. I saw that slim guy, black in complexion, have a cut here. We should just quickly score before these people. That is the civil grace. Fana. Did it well! Brilliant goal! Absolutely stunning goal from Guillermo Fofana. And France lead by two goals to one in extra time. Perfectly executed by Fofana. Smareki side. It is not something I can do alone. That is the problem I have. I cannot do it alone. If I can do it alone, I'm a lover of God, I will pray out fast to ask God. But it's not possible for me to do. We must agree. And the instruction will be given. And you follow the instruction. And if you follow the instruction, you carry the day.